Well, hello beautiful people. My name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having an awesome day wherever you are. In today's video, we'll be reviewing the Bye Bye Birdie collection from ColourPop. So I bought a few things from this launch. I know I'm a little bit late to the game, but it just arrived. Like, cut me some slack a little bit. But we have the Bye Bye Birdie palette. Bye Bye Birdie palette, which looks like this. You can actually feel the words and the little bubbles on the back of this one. It's super cute. I had to have it. And it looks like this, which is more of a warm tone color scheme. I also got the Charmer eyeliner, which came with this collection. And I also got a pair of their lashes to try out today. So today we're going to test everything out, especially the palette, and give my honest thoughts on it. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get to today's video. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and get started with the try-on portion of this video. Usually I feel myself with this hair on, that's why I wear this wig the most. But like, I'm not doing it today. I don't know. But... I figured this color scheme is better suited for darker hair, in my personal opinion, than it is for like a neon orange. It doesn't really fit. So this is the Bye Bye Birdie palette. Let's take off the little sleevey thing. And this is the color scheme on the inside. I'm going to show you in the beginning of the video, I'm sure, too. But I don't know what we're going to do yet. So my eyelids are already primed. I want to go ahead and set them before they like crease on me. So I'm going to take a Sigma E38 blending brush in this shade Nesting, which is this neutral shade right here. And I'm going to buff it right underneath of the eyebrow. And like a little bit into the crease so you know our lid still isn't set but this doesn't crease on me all right so this is the first shade down i feel like this kind of light neutrally shade ColourPop has kind of perfected this definitely reminds me of a shade from the disney designer palette like those light neutrals it kind of reminds me of that kind of formula where it's very soft um, but there's not too much fallout in the pan, so I like that. And this color is really pretty to start off with, because we can build off this really easily. Ooh, wait. I guess I was just kind of looking at this palette from, like, the purpley-pink perspective, and I'm like, these are kind of silvery. That's kind of cool. I'm definitely not going to use either one of these pressed glitter shades in here. I just hate pressed glitters, you guys. I would never use them in my regular life, so I feel like I'm just going to use the rest of the palette. I'm sorry. There's so I, mean, I feel like I'm late to the game with this one anyway, so, like, it's okay. Um... I'm going to take the shade Boo Bird next, which is this light pink. It looks like a matte with a little bit of glitter reflect inside of it. So I'm going to start building up our crease with this shade. Ooh, this is very pinky. There is a little bit of glitter in there too. You can kind of see. I just touched down. You can see a speck or two. Or at least you can in real life. You can see a speck or two of like a golden glitter in here, but it is a matte shade. Okay, so this one I applied really quickly. Like the formulation of this one is very pigmented, very minimal fallout in the pan, like not much at all. Not much, not much at all. It's really pinky and it's really cute and I like this combination so far. It's looking good. So I guess it's time to start deepening, deepening up now. I'm going to start off with, let's take this brush. This is a Sigma E45 brush, which is a little bit of a tapered dome brush. I'm going to go into the shade Heroin Chic. No, let's do this opposite. Let's do it Fly By Night. Which is this purple shade, but not as bright as the other one I was going to use. So we're going to use this one, which is a matte with glitter in it as well. And I'm going to tuck this into the inner crease area. I'll do halfway. This is extremely pigmented. I probably should have thought this through before packing this on. Um, but we're going to do like a more subtle and a more neon outer corner. So we're going to do the darker color that's not as vibrant in the inner portion of the eye. This is actually blending out quite nicely. Okay, so the next color we're going to go into is Heron Chic, which is this one, Heron Chic, I guess like the bird. I'm going to take the Sigma E38 brush from before, and I'm just going to pack this on the second half of our crease. I really like that we put these light down, these light pinks down first. I um, just feel like it gives a really good base color to go off of. And I'm just going to kind of mish them in the middle together because this one is more dull, this one's more vibrant. So yeah. I feel like it's pretty straightforward. I do kind of the same conceptual eye look all the time. Ooh, conceptual. It makes it sound fancy. No, I do the same kind of like two colors over the crease. Would you kind of all look all the time? I'm going to go ahead and be honest. I love the pigmentation of the quality of the palette, but I really mess this eye look up. Because it's all the way up to my eyebrows. And yeah, this is not it. The colors in the palette is performing nicely. Like, do not get me wrong. Love the palette so far. But this is way too much. I put on way too much eyeshadow. I do not have that much eyelid space. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, and I'm kind of freaking out about it a little bit. 
So let's move on to the lid, I guess. We'll try to salvage a little bit of this if we can, and maybe when I go put on my like lashes off camera, I can do something about the blend. I'm not sure. I'm going to take some concealer on a flat Sigma E58 brush, and I'm just going to carve out a little bit of lid space in the first half of the lid. Alright, so the first half of the lid has concealer, the rest of it does not, so we can see how it performs on top of concealer as well as on its own. So there's nothing in here that's really, really brightening other than this, but I don't need to press glitter on my eyes. Um, so none of these are like a white or a champagne shimmer, which I adore in a palette, but it's okay. These are definitely like better for subtle, warm colors. I'm going to take the shade Ariel, which is this one, um, and I'm going to pack this on top of the concealer. This is definitely kind of a wet consistency. It's kind of a wet smushy, like a super shock shadow. Yeah, um, but I'm going to try to pack it on the lid. I'll use my finger if I have to. Okay, so this definitely is more of a wet, super shot consistency. I definitely don't recommend putting it on with concealer. Just put it on your finger. I did swatch this Nevermore shade, though. This definitely seems like more of their regular consistency. So I'm going to take the Nevermore shade, which is pretty cute because, like, Edgar Allan Poe. And I'm going to put this right in the center. Right in between where we have both colors. I don't want to do the darker, I mean, the outer corner this color, but right in the middle there. It's actually a really cute pink. And then for the outer corner of the lid, we're going to do Finch, which is this pretty purple right here, which I feel like is a really star color in the palette. I'm going to try to pack this on with a brush as well and see how it performs. Okay, this seems like a regular consistency that I can pick up with a brush. Going back into that blending brush from before, I'm blending our crease out so it's not so, like, crisp. I kind of like a diffused look, so I'm going to help blend away our cut crease a little bit. Alright, so, again, the blend underneath the eyebrow. What did I even do with this look? I don't know, but the lid looks pretty. So, for the lower lash line, I'm going to take the shade. Okay, we're going to do plumage, which is this shade right here. Plumage, plumage. Right here, I'm going to do it on the outer corner and then nesting in the inner corner, just because I don't want it super dark on the lower lash line. But I do have... A new color pop eyeliner to put in my waterline so I want a little bit of darkness underneath here. This plumage shade is so pigmented. That's a lot. I might just do this under the lower lash line. Just the plumage shade, not the burnt nesting shade. Alright, so this is my eyeshadow look. I know I look crazy. I'm gonna pop on some mascara lashes, a little bit of glitter under the lower lash line, and maybe mess with this blend. I don't know, but I'll be right back, and we can finish up the look and add an eyeliner that we have from the bit, the Bye Bye Birdie collection. Because I bought an eyeliner, I never buy ColourPop eyeliners anymore. So, we're going to see if this one's good, if the formula's better now. Alright guys, so I'm back with lashes on. I used the lashes that were in this collection because I really bought this palette because I was like dying for some new lashes. And I knew that ColourPop had just released lashes, and I saw this style called Batty, um, which is what the case looks like. So I was like, hey, they come out with some new lashes, I'm going to buy these. The other lashes that came out with like that red collection that came out like a week or two ago. And I bought the palette as well because the palette was, look really, was looking really cute. Um, but these are the lashes, batty, they're okay. I even had to like take my eyeliner and like whisk it through the lashes and make them a little bit darker towards the inner corner because I feel like they were a little bit light. I think they look okay. They're not my favorite in the world. But ColourPop is just now starting to get into lashes, so I'm thinking maybe they'll get better as they make more. Why do I have to live in a neighborhood like this? I am so tired of this. Ugh. But, um, yeah, let's go ahead and do the eyeliner. Alright, so the eyeliner that I got was Charmer. It was in this, like, little page collection. I don't know if this is a new color. It looks like a new color to me. I've never seen this color before. Um, I've never tried it. So, it is just a burgundy kind of color. It swatches really dark and really creamy. And it's less, like, um, dry as, like, some of the original words were, so we're going to put this in the waterline and see how I like it. I'm not used to putting dark colors in the waterline though, so we'll see. Alright, so in the waterline, ugh, my eyes are so sensitive, I'm sorry if they look weird. 
I do think it was really pigmented. I think it applied nicely to the waterline. I didn't apply it to the like inner portion of the eye, just I don't want to close my eyes up too much. But I don't see, just personal opinion, it's not a fact yet. I don't see this being a super long wearing eyeliner. Um, just because it is more of a wetter consistency. But I do think it definitely could stay for a while. I don't see it wearing like away but I don't see it like staying as pigmented as it is if you have watery eyes or very sensitive eyes like myself so this is the finished I mean other than the hair looking like crap this is the finished look what do we think I definitely think my blend could have been better I think the lid colors even like the super shocky shade which I wasn't crazy about the consistency is really pretty I mean the super shocky shade is fine I just didn't realize it was super shocky shade before I put it on top of concealer but the colors in the palette are super pigmented I really like how this look came out even though I was like really concerned about the blend under the eyebrow I think with lashes on and everything it's not that bad let's zoom out so we can actually <gasps> that's so much better isn't it anyways thank you guys so much for watching today's video please let me know what you think of this collection in the comment section down below the palette I would definitely give like an 8 out of 10 for the colors that we tried today I would give this like a 6 out of 10 for the eyeliner and like a 5 out of 10 for the lashes because the style is not super natural which I like and I like the flares but it's just not overall my favorite pair of lashes in the world. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed to my channel already, I'd love to have you here. I just put up videos all the time. And you're welcome to hang out, hug a pumpkin or something. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Hi, yes, editing this video really quickly, and I just wanted to say that if you're not following me on Instagram already, I would love if you did. I'm trying to hit 20,000 followers, like, hopefully by the end of the month. I doubt it'll happen, but, like, if you guys could help me out, I'd really appreciate it. So thank you, and I will see you in the next video.